today's lesson is lesson 2.5. Make sure you have out your notes, your video notes that go with this. We are still identifying proportional and non-proportional relationships. Now we're doing it in graphs. In order to get those graphs, though, we are going to have to look at some tables to get some ordered pairs. Isaiah sold candy bars to help raise the money for his scouting troop. The table shows the amount of candy he sold to the money he received. Is the amount of candy bars sold proportional to the money Isaiah received? Well, I can't answer that yet. How do you know? Because I've got to go to my table and I have to decide. Is my variable x candy bars multiplying by the same amount each time the exact same amount each time to get the money received or is the money received divided by the ratio of money received divided by the candy bars the same ratio i'm going to do the ratio way and yes it is y always over x so 3 over 2, is that the same ratio as 5 over 4? Is that the same ratio as 9 over 8? Is it the same ratio as 12 over 12? Well, that's 1, I know that. 9 over 8, that's 1 and 1 eighth, so that's not right. 5 over 4, that's 1 and 1 fourth. 3 over 2, that's 1 and 1 half. They are not the same ratio. They do not all reduce down to 3 over 2 or the same, if I do the division, they do not um, come out to be the same ratio. So now I can answer that question. You have to check every one. And I did. Now that I've related that, I can answer the question. The candy bars sold. is not proportional to the money received. Answering in a full sentence. The rate that I get, the rate or the ratio, the rate of dollars per candy bar is not, and that's why I divided the way I did, dollars always come first, the rate dollars per candy bar is not constant. Example number one. From a table to a graph. Um, each chocolate bar is being sold for $1.50. Oh, that's not on here. Oops. That's got to be on here. Each, and so if it's not on your paper, please add this on. It was part of the, I don't know what happened to it. Each chocolate bar is being sold for $1.50. Each chocolate bar sells for $1.50. So this is a constant rate, $1.50 per candy bar. That must have got cut off somehow, somewhere. So um, X is my candy bars, just like the table above there, in the, in the uh, example above. And Y is the money that I'm collecting. So if I sell two candy bars for $1.50, I earn $3. If I sell four candy bars for $1.50, I'll have $6. If I sell six candy bars for $1.50, multiplying by $1.50, I'll have $9. If I sell eight candy bars for $1.50, I'll have $12. And I use those numbers on purpose because they came out to be nice whole numbers or easy points to grab. So now I'm going to, each time I sold or multiplied my candy bars by $1.50. It's a unit rate. It's the constant in this relationship. So I'm going to take my graph here and I'm going to graph the ordered pairs. So this is the ordered pair 2, 3. X is 2, Y is 3. 
and the ordered pair 4, 6, and the ordered pair 6, 9, and the ordered pair 8, 12. I'm going to graph those points. Well, first thing I have to do is label my graph. So I'm going to say money, maybe money raised for candy bars. It's a related question to the one above, candy whoops, bars. And you have to label your x-axis. Your axis, as I said before, is the candy bars. So that's, this is the x-axis. So everything I'm writing, you're writing. The y-axis is the money that I'm collecting in dollars. So you have to say that. You have to put the dollar sign. It's not euros, it's not British pounds, or you know, Croatian money, it's dollars, American dollars. So we are gonna put that dollar sign there. What is the unit that we're doing? So I know if I sell two candy bars, it's $3. Remember when you plot points on a Cartesian plane that it's axis first, so go over two and then up to y, which is three. The next point, go over four and up to six. The next point, go over six, do the x first, go up to nine. Oh, and I can't get the next point on there, eight, 12. So you cannot add on extra lines here and say 812 is like up there. Can't do that. So I'm only going to be able to get three of these points on there. If I sold no candy bars, I would earn no money or I wouldn't get any money to collect from the person. I didn't sell them any. So I do know that the point zero zero is also part of this relationship, this proportional relationship. And if you notice here, it looks like these points would go in a straight line. So if I was to draw that, I could see that these points would go in a straight line. Hmm, that is true. What do we notice about the characteristics of a graph of a proportional relationship? I told you it was a proportional relationship. Why? Because I'm multiplying by that constant rate of $1.50 per candy bar. This is a proportional relationship. So what do I notice about this graph? I notice it's a straight line, that the points go up in a straight line. I do notice that. And Zero, zero was one of the points. That's called the origin. The point zero, zero. That's the origin. For zero candy bars, I'm going to collect zero money. So I'm going to write that here. Please write this in your notes. Characteristics, this is always true of proportional relationships how one variable, like candy bars, is related to a second variable, like money collected. Characteristics of graphs of proportional relationship. The points lie in a straight line, or they line up in a straight line, lie in a straight line. first off, and the line goes through the origin. Or the point zero, zero, I'm gonna put here. The origin is the point zero, zero, which I did know that if I don't sell any candy bars, I'm not gonna collect any money. So that's the point zero, zero. This next example, I don't know what this data is, but I do have a table and I have to decide, is this a proportional relationship? Is it proportional? I don't know, let's see. How do I identify a proportional relationship in a graph? I know how to do it on a table. Take my Y and divide it by my X or show the ratio or decide Two times what would give me three? Is that same number 
4 times that same number, would it give me 6? 8 times that same number, would it give me 12? 12 times that same number, would it give me 14? So on a table, I would have to actually do that. Well, I want to know on this graph, so I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to even do that multiplication or division. I'm just going to graph these points. So the point 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. There's the point 2, 3. First point. It's on the graph. 4, 6. 4, go over 4 and up to 6. 8, 12. So go over to 8 and up to 12. 10, 11, 12. Oh, they look like they're going up in a straight line. And then 12, 14. 12, 14. Huh? That doesn't look so straight. 0, 0. If I put 0, 0 on here. So I'm going to use my little straight line here and see if I can get these to go in a straight line. Oh, that point's not in the, in the line. This point 12, 14 isn't right. 12 should be maybe up here at 16. I think that point should be up here. It's, this point should be up there in order for this to be a proportional relationship. So is this, is, would this make a proportional graph? No, it's not proportional. Why is it not proportional? Because the points are not in a straight line. Why are the points not in a straight line? The points are not in a straight line because there's not a constant here. The points are not in a straight line. It's almost there, but this last point, this last point is a problem. The ratio of 3 to 2 is the same ratio as 6 to 4, because I could multiply 3 times 2, and 2 times 2 gives me 4, is the same ratio as 12 to 8. 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is 8, but it is not the same ratio as 14 to 12, because 2 times 6 is 12, so 3 times 6, this should be 18, and it's not, right? This should be, oh, this should be 18, 18 to 12. Did I, what did I say, 16? It should be 18, yeah, 18. So that's the problem. There is not a constant rate. Not proportional because the points are not in a straight line. Why are they not in a straight line? Not a constant rate there. The relationship between all the points does not have a constant rate in it. Okay, the next example. Do you think this is a proportional relationship? Let's see. 0, 6. 3, go over 3 and up 9. 6, 12. 9, 15. 12, 18. Okay, I'm going to use my straight line tool here and see if these do line up. If you took a ruler and tried to line up the edge of these, they all line up. But it's missing the one other part. It doesn't go through the point zero, zero. So that's the error here. Yes, there is a constant between these four points, but not between all of the points. If it was between all of the points, the first point would be zero, zero. So this, again, is not a proportional relationship not proportional because it doesn't go through the origin. Because it does not go through the origin. So, those two points that I made at the top there 
have to always show up on any proportional graph. These have to be there. The points have to lie in a straight line or go up in a straight line, or if you put the ruler there, they'd be under the ruler's edge in a straight line. And the line, or one of the original points, has to start at the origin, zero, zero. So this one, this point was off here, so that's a problem we found in graph number uh, two. In graph number three, it didn't go through the origin. So similarities with example one, Hmm, example one's all the way on the back there, on the front side rather. Well, example one, they look like they're kind of straight. Parts of them are straight, right? Part of the points are straight. Or some of the points Some of the points are in a straight line. Differences from example one, well, example two and example three are not proportional. Oops, didn't mean to put a comma. Two and three are not proportional relationships. That's one thing that's different, and the points don't all go in a straight line. Not all of the points are in a straight line. This, this exam number three here does not go through the origin, right? Does not go through the origin. And another thing, in example one, I knew what that was, that data was. I don't know what this data is here in example two or three. The graph gr number one starts at the origin. This graph does not start at the origin. Some of the points go in a straight line, similar to example one, but not all of the points go in, well, all of these points do go in a straight line, but it's not starting in the origin. So in this example two, some of the points are not in a straight line. So we do have some differences, and that's why these two examples, example two and three, are not proportional. Example one is the proportional example.